So we're here at the Seiko Lab. So who are you? Hi, I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Udo and uh, we have designed a, a board, uh, a single board computer that is based on two processors. One uh, is a uh, quad-core A9 plus uh, uh, some tricks uh, where we have the possibility to use, to have together these two processors that are directly connected. So there's two processors here? Yeah, this is the Atmel Soundtrix and this is the Freescale Quadcore MX6. So MX6 and Atmel, is it ARM or no ARM? It's two, two, all the two are ARM processor yeah. and this one is the processor of the Arduino Due. And in particular here you have a Arduino Due clone, compatible okay. system. What do you with do? The, with the possibility to use to program the Arduino directly from the Linux. Program Arduino directly from Linux? From Linux. And also you can interact with the real world in this sense. You have, uh, you can use also jQuery, you can use PHP to control a sensor and application. Nice. This is the particular feature. You have Arduino plus a computer, a single board together. So, um, you do is a company from uh, Seiko? You do is a brand from Seiko. It's not a company. What is Seiko? Seiko is a company related on uh, embedded system, as one of the main companies in Europe for embedded system. And uh, here lies a uh, uh, industrial, modern industrial board. In this case, uh, we have done a new concept, a new idea to create something for everybody, in particular for educational purpose and uh, for makers and do it yourself. An open source hardware. And from this open source hardware, uh, we have created a also an industrial board. That is the derivation of this one. What is this one? This one is uh, a new board of the Udo family. We present this board today. It is uh, a system dedicated for the Internet of Things. It's perfect that it moves. That's perfect it for the move and all the interaction is controlled by a Udo. Here you have a sensor when a person goes in front of this board, now it starts moving. If I'm going in front, the board is present to me. That's fantastic. And it's controlled by Udo, also the LED, also the, the motor are all connected to this. And this is so here we're looking at the IMX6 Solo X. Yes. It's a new new SOC just announced today. Yeah. Uh, this is a Cortex A9, 1A9 and 1M4. This is the particular aspect. It is perfect for our idea. We have the possibility to start uh, to design application like uh, in a, uh, using uh, Arduino Sketch uh, because we, uh, the idea is uh, all the same uh, also in this case. We have the possibility to reuse Arduino Sketch uh, and here the pinout layout is the same of the Arduino Uno. Then you use uh, uh, shields uh, and you have also analog uh, then you can use analog cells. So basically you can run the Arduino on the M4? Yeah. And then you can do the other stuff on other the stuff, A you have A9. The A9, Linux and Android. And then you have the possibility to run two OS or run Linux using the Arduino part. This is very... So let's uh, go around here. Very interesting. Yeah. What's, what is this one? This one, as I say, is the industrial derivation of the Udo, Udo board. In this case, uh, we have think about that uh, to give the possibility, like a startup, uh, to have a single board computer that is flexible and also certificated for industrial purpose. We are thinking about this kind of board, that in the, for this board you have the possibility to have support from Seco directly, 
of support from the Udu community. Then you can use all the OS you have on Udu community, you can use all the application developed by the open source community of Udu so for industrial purpose. So Udu is a community? Is a, is a, how old is Udu community? Yes, it's open source community. How old is the com community? Uh, we start in 2013, we start in April uh, the project uh, with the launch on uh, Kickstarter of the Udo board. Then uh, the board arrive on the end of uh, the person uh, on October uh, 2013. That is almost uh, one year and a half. One year and a half. What are you showing here? Here we are showing the D62 that uh, uh, it's running uh, Linux of Udo, the Linux of the community. And here we have OpenCBU camera, camera that uh, recognizes your. Uh, yeah? Created this segment of uh, your images. This is a. And, uh, what is this? Yeah, this yeah. is a 7 inch touch screen of the Udo. And we have created uh, this uh, special enclosure uh, printing by 3D Print. Alright, uh, let's talk with these guys. So, they, they uh, use your, your technology? Yes. This is a Riot OS. Uh, it's very interesting, interesting OS. So we start a collaboration uh, to create a different kind of application with this. Uh, so, in so this what, case, uh, what is going have, on here? You have uh, running. Uh, hey, so you can explain a little bit your uh, demo. Yeah, well, we're just demonstrating uh, some kind of sensor communication here. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, some kind of central node here uh, and some other devices with uh, 854. Ah, okay, I thought uh, she just told you. Yeah. The right is basically uh, an embedded, uh, an operating system. It's an operating system for, for embedded devices for low power and uh, lossy devices, and it's made. Um, for devices where you don't use Linux because it's too, too, too big for this. So then you just uh, run Riot and as you can see, the aims of Riot is to be, okay, that was too fast, to yeah. be developer friendly, as a Linux style uh, pro programming wise and um, yeah, that's basically it. Is it uh, on the market or is it something that you're oh, starting? Riot is, uh, so it just started about one or one and a half year ago and it's open source. So we've got developers from the whole world, but uh, yeah, the main developers are basically from universities. So, for example, here at the uh, University of Berlin or uh, University for Applied Science in Hamburg. And uh, so, these Atmel powered uh, sensor nodes uh, run so your here, software? Yes, here are different uh, things to see, but each of these uh, small devices, like these Atmels or uh, these ST boards, kudos them. Um, there is a uh, riot running on it at this time. Yeah, this is just some debug out output. Let's maybe ever uh, see at the at the practical stuff. For example, this is uh, just a humidity sensor which is connected to the peripheral stuff of this board, and it is um, the data is processed in some kind of uh, yeah. It's not important, it's just um, connected there and transferred to a central node which validates the data and um, moves this, uh, yeah, this motor there, it's just, uh, just a sample. You know we are developing the operating system, so we give a fundament for guys who want to build applications with it. So that's just one example of uh, what, what can happen with, the, with this, this community, right? Working together? Yeah, uh, this is a good aspect of open source uh, uh, hardware, open source software. You, can, you have the possibility to exchange uh, this experience and to collaborate uh, with different communities that are open. In this case, uh, for uh, uh, the particular aspect of this uh, OS. So these are the boards, it starts at $99? Yes, this is the UDO. 
quad and dual. Quad you do dual and you do quad. Basic. You do basic uh, is another version without uh, Wi-Fi and that. Uh, and the one with Solo X? The Solo X uh, is not here. It is that. Here, here in this case you have uh, uh, a complete wireless connectivity with Bluetooth, Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi and uh, particular sensor, the sensing, uh, the sensor that we have accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer integrated in the board. And it's credit card sized. It's credit card size and uh, it's very flexible for this kind of application like if you need to uh, use this board to control a drone, a quadcopter, uh, is very... Is there a price already? The price is not already defined, but the idea is to stay under $50. That's, uh, that's really affordable. Yeah. So, uh, how big is the Udo community and how big is it going to be in the future? Uh, what do you think? I think now in... Um, one year alpha, the Udo community start to become very big. We are one of the main single board computer in the uh, open source hardware uh, uh, and do it yourself board. And uh, with this uh, new Neo board, uh, uh, the idea is to arrive also to the students uh, that want a very flexible board, uh, that want to use. Uh, uh, Arduino connected, uh, uh, connect uh, Linux and Android to the real world in a very simple way. Then uh, this is a, a very good uh, uh, starting point uh, to achieve uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this experience. We'll start to learn uh, very, very basic uh, application uh, like uh, blinking LED. Uh, and uh, then uh, start to run uh, operating system, uh, Linux and Android, uh, to uh, create a uh, software like uh, Perl and PHP in uh, uh, Node.js uh, to interact with uh, the sensor. So what, what does Arduino guys think about this? Uh, this um, is a little bit... Uh, is an, I mean, I'm starting to, uh, from... Uh, Arduino from uh, 2007. I started, started to use uh, Arduino because I'm a, an interaction designer. And, and Massimo uh, is an Italian guy. He's an Italian guy so because uh, there was a um, there was a big community in Italia of interaction designer. And uh, for us, it's very important to have a, a very simple board that can uh, give the possibility to designer to create something. And this is very important. We start with uh, the idea to use uh, Arduino uh, to connect uh, sensor and also add uh, another possibility, so the possibility to use a software, high-level software. Then uh, is this uh, the, uh, the you do, the vision of you do respect to Arduino, the possibility to interact uh, with uh, real world uh, in a simple way using Arduino. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's some examples here and then... Uh, this is a uh, face recognition screen that uh, moves uh, with your face. Cool. And then motorized. This is how every tablet should be. Uh, here we have the CV running. Yeah. My face is hard to recognize right now so uh, that's cool so um, so this the hackers can start like this and then they can continue towards the enterprise solution the Seiko yeah so this is for the experimenting and later mass production right yeah yeah no this is uh, another important aspect because uh, uh, give the possibility to, to the young guys uh, to start from this technology that is you do to arrive uh, to define uh, a product with uh, the embedded uh, uh, product of SEC. This is our vision. Then we start to like to play with you do and uh, we uh, go uh, to define a real product with the, the, the SECO embedded system.
Cool. So hackers around the world. Yeah. Because we are in contact with many developers, no? there are uh, do-it-yourself makers, and we see that there are uh, uh, interest to create uh, something new, like a new product, uh, starting a startup, uh, and when uh, uh, happen this, uh, they need uh, a particular board uh, that, uh, in some cases, uh, uh, the problem is the quantity. No? For a new startup, uh, they want to produce like uh, for a device like 100 board and in this case uh, this uh, solution uh, Seco give a solution on uh, the industrial embedded world for uh, this uh, uh, request all right so there it is